Hello everyone. Today let us talk about one of the most important part of software development, code reviews. They are essential for catching bugs, improving code quality and maintaining standards across the teams. But here is the challenge. Most of the projects have one or two reviewers, whereas the developers may be 20 or 30. So the reviewers will be overloaded. And at the end, some of the code quality issues may slip through the cracks. Now imagine that if you could catch logical errors, performance bottleneck, or even potential security concerns before opening a PR. That is exactly where AI-powered code review in the IDE comes. AI-powered code review was available in VS Code. Now it is released as part of IntelliJ. On September 18th, GitHub announced that Copilot code review is now available in JetBrains IDEs like the IntelliJ, PyCharm, Android Studio and also available in Visual Studio. Before this release, the feature was only available in editors like VS Code and Xcode. Now, whether you are coding in Java, Kotlin, Python, Go, or an Android Studio project, you can run AI-powered reviews directly inside your preferred IDE. This is a huge milestone because JetBrains IDEs are widely used across industries and now Copilot seamlessly integrates into that ecosystem. So how do you enable this? First, make sure that you have a GitHub Copilot plugin installed in your IntelliJ and it is updated to the latest version. Finally, stage your changes. In our case, we did few edits in the calculated.java file and the validated file. And all these changes are captured under the commit section. Next to the copilot icon, you have the copilot review code changes icon, which can be used for code review. But before going to the review, let us add some instructions as well. We need copilot to follow certain instructions when it's review the code. That can be added as a copilot instruction file under .github. Here I'm going to add a new file called copilot instructions .md. Let me add the coding instruction. Here we have mainly two, three areas. One is to avoid the hard-coded values. Proper code documentation is expected. Remove the unused variables. If we go for a preview, you will be able to see the preview of the MD files. So the coding instructions are set. Now let us go to the commit area. Ask Coppola to review the changes. Just click on that Coppola review icon. It will start reviewing changes based on the coding instruction we set right now. The Code review comments appear here. The first one is the validated. There is a spelling mistake. If I want to correct the spelling, I can go ahead and accept it or discard and go to the next one. Let us check what's the next comment. Here, inconsistent indonation, that is another space issue, is formatted. And there is a third one. Missing Java doc. We specified in the instruction we need a proper documentation. So that is one thing is missing here. There is a Java doc missing again here. Going to the seventh one, hard coded values. So 3.14 is a hard coded values. We received around 10 different code review comments across two of the Java files. Either I can accept the suggestions and modify the code accordingly or discard and go to the next one. So why does this matter? The first level of review is completed with the AI before even it goes to the PR review. 
This time, as a developer, we know our changes and a quick review and recommendation will help us to correct before I commit the code into the centralized repository. On top of that, obviously at PR level, you can enable the Copilot review with the specific coding instructions. And it is important to note that this AI reviews don't replace human reviews. Instead, think of Copilot as a co-reviewer. It helps with the common issues and lets human reviewers focus on high level improvements. Copilot code review in JetBrains ID and Visual Studio is a big change. It means developers everywhere can now get feedback earlier, improve the code quality and streamline the review process. So update your Copilot plugin, try staging some changes and run your first AI powered review. Let me know in comments how it changed your workflows. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.